Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm answering one of the most asked questions that I get in YouTube comments and in my DMs is how do you get started with machine learning, how do you transition into AI roles and um, you know how, how do you learn and how do you get hands-on experience so on and so forth. So I'm happy to answer this question. I used to teach machine learning at like programming boot camps uh, on, on online as well. People gave some really good feedback so I'm happy to share my experience. And uh, whether you're looking to like pivot your career or if you're just starting out, this video is a roadmap for you to follow. We're going to cover uh, things from uh, skills that you need to common challenges that people face and even mistakes that people make along the way. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started, I want to share an amazing resource with you. Whenever you're starting with any new field, getting hands-on experience is super important making projects or contributing to open source. But oftentimes you may find it hard to find the right project or the tutorial, let's say it's not that in depth and it's lacking uh, diversity or whatever, right? Wouldn't it be nice if you had a platform where you can find all the amazing projects in the field of AI via which you can learn and also solve real world business use cases. Allow me to introduce you to Project Pro. You can see that 7,000 plus developers from 17 countries have like uh, compiled these uh, you know, project templates that you can use for your own use cases and uh, how it's different from like Stack Overflow, GitHub, tutorials, you know, provides end-to-end -end implementation. That's what you'll get with projects. Uh, real industry great, great projects uh, by industry experts, ready-made solutions for business problems and detailed explanations as well. So the practitioner or your learner, you can get ahead and start with it. There are 250 plus end-to-end -end project solutions, so you can filter it out accordingly, like big data, uh, data science projects, um, and all these things. You can also get mentorship, uh, testimonials you can check out, the resources like blogs and tutorials. I talk about the project, really, you can take a look at, let's say, machine learning projects. Whenever you select the project, let's say you start and want to start with something beginner, or when I use like something more complex in real world, this is what we learn. The thing I really like about it is they also give the architecture diagram and explain everything um, and some really, really good stuff. Make sure you check it out. And uh, yeah, the links can be found in the description below. And you can see what all things every project is covering. So you can just start the project and all the things that you're going to learn, as you can see. So yeah, if you want to get started, um, go to projectpro.io and uh, yeah, have fun. Cool, so first things first, let's talk about why you might wanna transition into AI. Well, because it's the future, believe it or not. And uh, I always say that uh, AI is not going to replace you. A person using AI will replace you. So AI is not gonna replace you, don't worry, as long as you're up to date. Um, I think a good way to put it as is um, AI is being used as a companion rather than like a competition. So not just a trend it's like the future of technology and also it's uh paying really well right now the ai rules let's talk about uh the skills that you need right so this is crucial these are like the core skills you need to get started number one being programming languages so python is like the most popular one but you can also learn about r um you can learn about uh, sql which is also very important and also like julia language which is getting quite popular and people are learning Rust as well. But having prior experience in any programming language should be fine because it will help you pick up like newer programming languages. You also need a solid understanding of um, mathematics and statistics. It, it may not be mandatory if you're just in the application of AI, uh, if, if you're just using AI for like in the applications because many companies like provide uh, that abstraction for you to just use the models. So it, it depends, but having a solid understanding of like algebra, calculus, and statistics, uh, these are like the foundations when it comes to learning about machine learning algorithms. So if you're someone who wants to dive deeper into ML algorithms, these are something that you should know. Speaking of machine learning, uh, learn the basics first, I would say. So like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning, and also get comfortable with like uh, libraries like TensorFlow, Keras, and there's scikit-learn as well, which is very good for when you're starting in your learning journey. The most important part of AI is data. So pre be proficient in uh, data handling, data cleaning, data manipulation, visualization, 
tools you would need to learn about are like Pandas, Numpy, Matplotlib. They are best friends over here. And then big data technologies like Hadoop, Spark, databases like SQL, NoSQL, all these other things. So you can learn about MLOps, you can learn about Kubeflow, uh, how to deploy your machine learning models in the cloud, all sorts of things. But these are some of the ways how which via which you can get started and I'll share some resources as well. Also regarding the domain knowledge, it totally depends on your field, but having specific domain knowledge can also set you apart. But let's talk about the roadmap. How do you actually get started? What are the things that you need? So the first one I would say is self-assessment. Take a good look at your current skills. What are you strong in and where do you need improvement? This is basically going to help you create a personalized learning plan. Step two would be the learning resources. Um, there are plenty of uh, learning resources out there. Like I've already mentioned Project Pro that you can go to, you can find the links in the description below. Um, there are also other platforms like YouTube, um, Coursera, edX, Udacity has some paid courses. This book called Hands-On Machine Learning with uh, Scikit-Learn Keras and TensorFlow is also really good, so you can check that out. And uh, the next thing I would just say is, uh, yeah, go to projectpro.io because Practice, 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 very important. Start with simple projects on the platform, the, the Project Pro one or build your own. But yeah, the, you can, you, on projectpro.io, you can find like basic projects as well. Um, yeah, just start with simple stuff. Like uh, with every machine learning algorithm, like linear regression, you'll find like some simple, simple problems, some good head over problems, like uh, number recognition and things like that. You can find this on projectpro.io, the whole code and explanation. Um, build like basic recommendation system or like simple chatbot. There are other platforms as well, like Kegel is there to find data sets and you can also participate in competition. Lastly, I would also say I always preach about learning in public. So build a portfolio, document your projects, put them on GitHub, write blogs, or even make videos uh, explaining your projects. It's not only helps you uh, learn, but also shows potential employers what you can do. It's not about followers, it's just about uh, building credibility. And also I would say network. So join AI communities, attend meetups, webinars, conferences. Networking can open a huge number of doors and opportunities for you that you find wouldn't find otherwise. Okay, and lastly, uh, start small. So start with like internships or junior roles. Getting practical experience is like invaluable. So you can get your hands into like some entry level positions. That'd be a nice way to get started. I also wanna share that I have a course on Gen AI and RAG. That you can check out and leave the links to that in the description below as well. There's a playlist on my YouTube channel, uh, pretty hands-on stuff, and it's going to help you as well. All right, let's talk about some of the challenges. Um, it's not like a walk in the park. You know, there are some significant challenges that uh, people face. First one being, I think most people can relate to this, is imposter syndrome. It's easy to feel like you don't belong in this um, field, especially when you're just getting started. But the way I look at it is what's going to help you is remember that everyone started where you are right now. Everyone was a beginner at once. Constant learning is also really important. AI is a fast uh, evolving field, so you need to be committed to continuously learning. This can be overwhelming, but to look at the bright side, it can also be really exciting. Especially when it comes to AI, I would say balance theory and practice. So theoretical concepts are nice, but also balance it out with some practical application, which is where Project Pro can come into picture can help you out. So too much focus on just one thing can hinder your progress, I would say. And good data, you know, is hard to come by. So learn how to source, clean, and manipulate data. That in itself is a skill as well. Avoid these uh, mistakes when we talk about challenges like skipping the basics, jumping straight into advanced concepts uh, without a solid foundation. You will get confused and frustrated and a little demotivated. Always start with the basics and then work your way up from that. Also build a portfolio so, you know, you're presenting your work and um, yeah, this next one would be, it depends on, you know, what sort of role you're looking for, but don't ignore maths, like the backbone of AI, especially if you want to dive deeper into the algorithms. And uh, it's also going to make it easier for you to understand the algorithms. You don't have to be like a whiz, math whiz, like super good at it, but your basic understanding is more than enough. And yeah, when it specifically come to, comes to transitioning into any role, networking, networking, networking. So again, go to events, online webinars, conferences, meetups, all these other things. Well, there you have it. Uh, complete like um, sort of like step-by-step -step 
guidance. All the links and resources can be found in the description below that I've mentioned. So make sure you check it out. And uh, yeah, you know, just be curious. Um, keep learning. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all a part of the learning process. And uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. And you can check out the resources, uh, the links in the description below as well. And make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions. And uh, if you have any suggestions or any other queries, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.